Welcome to Faith, Reason, and Geekdom. I'm your genuflexer, Roger. My brothers and sisters in Christ join me every other Wednesday as we work out these three perspectives in our everyday lives. That's what I call Christian genuflexing. Today I'll be joined by my friend Aaron as we go through all things in the geek realm. Jam pack episode, a lot of stuff going on. So how's you, how's the week been going? Our weekend, week week right. slash weekend, your birthday. Yeah, my birthday stuff. passed. Anything, um, anything interesting? Um, no, not really. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, I did uh, buy a a Halloween mask. Um, apparently it was from. Uh, you're gonna say stop, but apparently I saw it on eBay and it said it's from The Exorcist. I don't know if. Uh, if you remember uh, the very first movie, Exorcist, you know the classic. Yeah. The uh, first when they one. when they remastered it or something, mm-hmm. when they did little things to it, you remember when the grandma was going to the uh, down the uh, the, the subway? Stairs? Yeah, yeah, the stairs oh, okay. when he yeah, was having yeah. that dream. Yeah. And then you see that black. It goes like black screen less than a second. And then you see that white face. Yeah. Oh, I have that. Okay. Exactly. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> so I've, I've scared a couple of people already with it. Wow. So yeah. That's that's the reality. Hey, when it comes to uh, uh, Halloween, it, it's kind of funny. Uh, when I was uh, getting older, or no, when I was when I was younger, I wasn't really as uh, crazy for Halloween. But as I got older, I just like rewatching horror movies. Yeah. Um, I'm just like now just watching the Titans. Um, there's the just a whole DC Titans. Yeah, the DC Titans. Like I'm just I'm just dabbling on all. This types is the of Scarecrow. Different... Like I think the Scarecrow is good. Like the one who plays. Okay, the well, I only, Crane. Okay, I only saw him a few times when he was like you know. Uh, busted out of jail with like with Dick and everything like that, but yeah, when he took him out. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't see any. Is that when, when the la- you talking about the the episode Lazarus? Did you see that episode? The episode no, no, Lazarus. No, I, I don't know how he got into the Lazarus. Oh, yet, okay, but I mean, right. I know he's 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 he went in there, but um, no, uh, I think the last episode I stopped with uh, with when Hawk passed away, man. I was just mm. like, it's it, I I knew he passed away anyways because uh I fucking saw it on social media, so they fucked it up for me. But uh, I still couldn't believe it though. Um. I still don't believe he's dead, but I mean, how can you explain yeah. <laughs> an explosion like that? No, that's great. Yeah. No, this weekend again, uh, very, you know, normal, typical, you know, weekend for me, you know, crossword puzzles and doing, a, you know, 1,000 piece puzzles on with the, the toilet? kids. And, no. <laughs> no, on the floor, going to Ikea, you know, you know getting <laughs> going. Home Depot, uh, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, what's that? Uh, orange leaf, you know, trying different. You know, when they're not looking, when they turn around, like I just get a bunch of samples and, and, and eat it. And then when they're like, oh, they're being really stingy now. They're like, only one thing. Like they're looking at you now because they know. So they're so like, like, they give you one little mask. thing. Yeah. <laughs> the one little cup. And you have to fill this tiny little cup up. And it's like, really? So I'll just like eat it all like while they're not looking. So stuff, I mean, typical, typical, uh, you know, dad stuff, cr- crazy things like that. But uh, this is, yeah, again, we're going to have a, a jam pack episode. DC fandom that happened recently. A lot of stuff, a lot of news. That's going to be pretty much the bulk of the show, like all the DC fandom stuff. Yeah. What are your initial thoughts on that? Because last year it was amazing. I thought it was, I, th- I thought they did a great job. Did, did you see so the whole your, thing? Yeah. I, I, saw I, the I didn't whole, see the whole thing. Uh, I, mean, I saw I, the whole thing. I was just mainly for, uh, for the, uh, the trailers. And then I yeah. was just like, I, I can't remember. I got distracted or whatever. But um, I, d- I thought it was funny uh, when it started. You know, the people that were hosting it, certain hosts that were doing it like there was this one cat uh I, i've known him i mean i don't know him but i only last time i saw, saw him like in a movie it was a series it was a uh curb your enthusiasm i'm mm. not sure if you're familiar with that but anyways yeah, yeah. he was in there but he was talking like the way some of them talk like uh like if if children are watching yeah but i mean you know damn well in order for you know adults you know nerds are the ones that are like you know making the money and stuff like that and really like you know wanting to see all this, you know, epic stuff that's coming out and all that stuff. Um, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe uh, Marvel has a, a challenge well, the coming up in this, in this, definitely this following year or something like that. I mean, I think so, too, because they, they, they came out strong with the Black Adam. Yeah. They came out with strong with the Black Adam. They showed like actual like a few minutes of the actual movie. 
a little bit of behind the scenes stuff as well. You know, you see uh, Pierce Bronson as Dr. Fate. Well, I thought he looked amazing. He has the white hair. He has the goatee, the beard, all that stuff like that. You had um, what is Hobbs? He's a he comes out in um, loses Hobbs. I think um, he comes out in. If you've seen The Invisible Man, that's a, actually a really good movie. Yeah, yeah. He plays the detective or the cop. Yeah, so he's playing Hawkman. I wanted to see Hawkman like in full uniform. Dude's in was that amazing not, shape. Was he's that in not great Candyman? Shape, tall. Oh no, that's Black. No, Adam. no, that yeah. I yeah. mean, a uh, Black uh, Manta. Manta. No, yeah. this is a different guy. Yeah, so um, very athletic in shape. Will look good in the Hawkman uniform. I wanted to see that. Uh, we didn't get to see it live in person. But again, you saw Pierce the Bronson. costumes, are right? And you saw yeah, the helmet. You, we and everything. saw the concept, yeah, just, art, great. all that stuff like that. And then going into the actual uh, footage, they showed a few minutes. Uh, what did you think about the actual little um, few minutes t- taste that they gave us? Of Black Adam, I was just, uh, I thought it was cool. Um, just the way it started. Um, because, you know, people are not familiar with Black Adam exactly. You know, I'm, I, I don't even think Marvel fans are like, who the hell is this? And then, you know, when you, once you got, you know, Dwayne Johnson playing it, I mean, that's a, that's a big actor right there. And I know he's been, he's been planning on this movie be before the, the DC, you know, you, you know, like this, this was like a plan a long time ago. So I'm glad that you know that this movie is uh, uh, finally coming out, and it does look like a heavyweight movie. I mean, it, it looks like a. I, I don't see anything wrong with it with it you know coming, especially if it's got Doctor Fate, you know, and just like the actors you just mentioned or something like that. I mean, those are rock bottom. You know, like no, no pun intended. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, I was like, what's <laughs> like that? Okay, is it rock bottom. Yeah, those are rock bottom uh, uh, selections. The people's movie. I but I mean, and then especially you know when he gets up, and then you know what I like too is because he's not like a. I mean, if you go further to his character yeah. and his lifetime, I think eventually he becomes like an anti-hero, I yeah. guess, or whatever. But like right now, you're just based on this is him. He's a villain. Just disintegrated that man, you know, by grabbing him by the throat was a uh, very epic. And then those guys were in for a treat, you know. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, th- those bullets weren't doing anything to him. So. Yeah. And then yeah. they didn't show like his whole face and stuff like that. So uh, I think the suit looks pretty good. But again, he has the hood. Yeah. He has a hood over his head, so you can't see the full, but you see the the symbol in his chest light up. Yeah. And then the shot where he just levitates, like it's just like levitating slowly, his boots mm-hmm. go up, and then... And then the music. Yeah. It was it, it fits, you know, the Black Adam uh, uh, character very well. Yeah, so I'm excited to <clears> see it. Um, I hope, the, I hope uh, the other characters help carry the movie, too. Uh, Dwayne Johnson's a good actor, uh, but he's not like great or he's not he's not like very good uh he could hold his own it's it's actually um, he's more of like an action dude yeah so, which is you know it's on his role like i wouldn't see him like you know i yeah. can't picture him doing so maybe like that's that. why they're making it you yeah. know they have hawkman they have dr fate and these other different characters hopefully kind of you know but again um we're very excited to see that again once him and shazam go at it and him and superman mm-hmm. hopefully we see on screen battle that would be awesome yeah Okay, so the the next we saw, I think this was really good. I really enjoyed this, probably more than, actually, probably more than the Black Adam one. But um, the Aquaman sizzle, the kind of behind the scenes, they kind of showed little yeah, yeah. behind the scenes sizzles. Uh, I didn't realize it'd been like that many years between the first Aquaman. Like, yeah, they said, yeah. what do you say, four years or so, since they've been shooting or something? Yeah, something like so, that. So wow, and then it looks really cool. Very, of course, this word's been used a lot, but epic. Um, they're like in, in the ice area. They're in the cold. Mm-hmm. You see uh, new suits, new suits and everything. And then Orm, uh, Ocean Master, looks like they're kind of maybe like a little bit of a Loki vibes kind of. Because it looks like, uh, to me, it looks like he's actually helping Aquaman. Isn't he teaming up, right? Well, yeah. That I, mean, like it's, it? It, I think he gets like that in the comics. He's just like you said, like a, a little bit of a Loki. Because, I mean, if, as far as I'm concerned, like, uh, you know, as soon as he got defeated in the first one, like he's just in his, in his prison cell. So, I mean... Who knows? Uh, I, I'm actually interested in who the hell is going to be the villain or whatever the bad person yeah. on that. I mean, you do see like Black Manta or something like that, but I don't think yeah. he's going to be the fool. Maybe well, James Wan. Know. James Wan. You know, he's the director. You know, he did. You know, the Saws, the Conjuring. You know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Insidious, all that stuff like that. The Master of Horror, all this different horror. Also, the Fast Five, all that stuff. Uh, the first Aquaman. So James Wan is showing like um, art of all the different monsters and sea monsters. So, yeah, yeah I'm curious to see who, like you, what you said, who's the new villain. So James mm-hmm. Wan's kind of giving us a taste. I think it's, I think the villain's going to be like, like maybe like a, it was a Atlantean that like when they fall asleep, 
you know, like a, like a thing, a tumor inside of their head actually grows and it controls their body. And then uh, they're like, like a, a backwards killer. And then all of a sudden, like it goes out and it starts killing. It's like a Gabriel and it starts killing other people, starts backwards, backwards moving. And then the, the Atlantean wakes up and realizes, like, oh, my goodness, like it was it was behind my head the whole time. I don't I don't know. It's a, that was a terrible. I, I knew you were right going to mention don't, don't that. Don't say it because it might have been a spoiler. No, so I know you are going to mention Just in case. Just in case. I was case. hoping you weren't. It's a little when spoiler. When you started saying so James Wan's like movie yeah. or something like that, <laughs> the, I was like, please don't, don't mention it. Don't mention it. Just in case movie. it was a spoiler. You never know. People. It's on HBO Max. It's no, new. don't. Oh, okay. I'm going to cut that up. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, what else? What are you looking forward to in the Aquaman? Oh, and also Black Manta. He has a new uniform. Looks yeah. Good. It looks more looks like... more um, of the comics. Uh, uh, I think the yeah, New 52 or looks, something like that. Looks, yeah. To me, it looks like... I don't know. Like, the uh, the graphic or the picture... I don't know if that was a, uh, a Photoshop or like... I don't know. It kind of looked no, comic. It, was, like, yeah. it looked like from uh, like out of Kingdom Come or something like that. Like, I don't know the Yeah, because I think his like, arms yeah. were like kind of silver it, too. It looked really like good that, though. And then, yeah. So what are you looking uh, forward to that in the movie and stuff? Uh, I'm just looking for Maybe like... Uh, I mean, look... I, I like Black Mantis as well. So, I mean, has a lot of tricks, obviously, because I'm also a fan of uh, Injustice, the game. So, like, I would like for them to, um, you know, um, portray the moves that he does on there yeah. because he can pre- pretty much pre- uh, be dominant on that as well. Yeah. Um, d- doesn't Jason Momoa look look like maybe he got bigger? Yeah, see, that's what... Like, yeah. It seems like he got bigger a little bit, Jason Momoa, right? Uh, like chunkier? No, well, I mean, uh, I mean okay. I here's know. the thing: do you, do you like the new suit? That's what some we were I, 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 I don't. I don't. It doesn't I like the other do any, suit. Better. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. The new suit doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I, well, I, I don't like know the original why. Suit better. It just doesn't do anything for me. Even the old dirty one, like the the Justice League one, looked better. Like yeah, you know, like a. Yeah, I think that one did. And then he should, they should just kept with the gold. I don't know. I mean, I'm not hating on the gold and the green. Well, maybe like, it's just I'm one not, of the suit. Maybe that's not his. Well, I, mean, suit I, 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 I would believe so. But it just looks like he's about to go like scuba diving or something. Yeah. That's, what, that's ex- how I take it. I I'm mean, excited because like, I really like that little sizzle behind the scenes. I really enjoy that Momo going on there and the the epic, the cold. They're in the the I don't know uh, Antarctica. I don't know, they're, but it's really good. I think I think it's actually based off off of like um, a actual Aquaman comic book run. So that'd be interesting. Peacemaker, man, that was, I think that was a lo- one of the longest trailers we had in the whole DC fandom. That was like a two minute. Yeah, because that was a full. That was an actual minute, trailer. Like, yeah, yeah, that was like a full. Man, Peacemaker looks amazing. I'm. I was always curious. I was like, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch it, of course. But I was like, oh, I hope it's good. But man, just watching the trailer and and then them talking about the movie. I'm like very, very excited for this movie. Uh, before they showed the trailer, uh, they had said something about it's the uh, what is it they say something about it's it's um, it's a superhero meets the office or something like that. They said something like that <clears> before <throat> they showed the trailer. Something about the office. It mm. means and yeah, when I saw the trailer, yeah, it is really almost like if you know like a, like if somebody's filming them like this, yeah yeah yeah. It's like the, the, uh, John Cena comes out. And he's like, I'm a superhero. He's like yeah. really. It's like zoom, and then the guy vigilante like, who's that guy behind the dumpster? And it's like it, I I got a lot of office vibes. Yeah yeah. I got a lot of office vibes. A lot of humor in the show. Man, John Cena like this show, The Peacemaker, especially the cast they have. I wasn't around. aware that Vigilante was a, a comic relief too, or something like that. Like he, yeah, he well, was saying some comedy stuff too. And yeah, I, was like, I didn't. I thought, th- I thought he. W- I'm just because we're just looking at the serious. Arrow one. Like, yeah. <laughs> looking I thought it was at the more Arrow like a, a, a series, but like, yeah, no, it looks. Uh, this one really got me excited. I was like, oh man, this looks awesome. Then when his dad, there's going to be a lot of stuff with him and his dad, the, the father relationship and stuff like that. So, uh, man, that, that's a good trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it was, I, I, I'll see it, you know what I mean? But I mean, the, the other, the other, uh, uh, trailers were, were more crazier for me. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, ever since I saw P, uh, uh, you know, uh, Peacemaker on the Suicide Squad, um, I had bad hopes for John Cena mm. because I've seen some of his movies before and I didn't really think yeah. that there was nothing, but he he totally picked the the right role for this one, you know, superhero and stuff like that. And I could just see him, you know, playing. And he's he's actually uh, surprisingly funny. So I, I I am excited to see it, you know, on HBO Max uh, whenever that comes out. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll just be another uh, DC favorite of mine as well. 
it's going to be a lot of crazy stuff because James Wan saying, I mean, James Wan, James Gunn, a lot of James in, in the DC. Yeah, uh, James Gunn saying something about, he was saying, I, when we're shooting this film, he's like, I can't believe they let me shoot this scene and that's going to be the end of Warner Brothers. Or So he's talking about, I don't know, I guess they filmed some scene and he's like, I can't believe they're making me, they're, they're letting me do this. So there's going to be a lot of craziness. James Wan, I mean, ah, I said it again, James Gunn's humor. <laughs> very, I'm very excited. That trailer did a lot for me. That trailer... Man, that really pumped me up even more. Uh, but another little trailer they showed. But again, this this has been we saw this last year. But the Suicide Squad uh, killed the Justice League. A new trailer that just emerged that we have out. They showed. What did you think about that? I'm I'm already excited for the video game. I don't have a PS5 yet, but when this comes out, hopefully I'll have one by then. Um. Well, I think you can still play with a PS4. Um. I I know on. There's oh, another I, video game we're going to talk about in a little bit. I, and I, I one of them to... is not. One of them is only PS5. It's either this one or the, the Arkham one. one of, it may be both of them, but I know one oh, for sure. Are you sure. talking about Gotham Knights? Yeah. No, I thought, I, them, I thought Gotham Knights was also uh, PS4 too. No, one of them is, is you cannot. One of them you cannot get on PS4. Yeah. They're going to force you. It's a exclusive. Piss, they're already on pissing PS5. me off right yep, now. Yep. So no, what do but you think uh, about the the, the, the the Suicide Squad. Uh, I was just uh, because you know when we first got the 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 teaser. Yeah. You know it was like a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um, you know we were still speculating. Yeah. We just saw Superman. Or was it now evil? Was it like that? Yeah. And I was just like, kidding. And, you know, you actually hear the kill the Justice League. Now, I, I think I mentioned that, and I heard some of the sources back in the day that I said that it was like about it was versus the Justice League. But now it's just like when you're looking at them, it seems like they're infected or something like that. Well, they're mind controlled. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But so that that made sense. I was yeah. like, how that? How you didn't that see a lot of Batman, which is you saw him. You saw him come out, but you saw mainly no, but you saw the Batman Green Bill. Lantern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you saw mainly Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah. Superman, yeah. and then they showed uh, Bat- uh, Of course, Batman's in there. Of course, yeah, and then but, the Flash. Yeah, the Flash. But they yeah. showed more of those, and then the end with the Penguin. Yeah. Or he's getting electrocuted, and then they're like, "No, get him, get him again!" And yeah, there yeah, he's yeah. on the gr- P- man, penguin, man, penguins all over. The- yeah. He's all over DC <laughs> all right. fandom. The penguins come making a big, huge comeback. Yeah, no, no, um, I think they're gonna make a, a, a spinoff. With yeah, penguin hopefully too. we'll we'll talk about that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, also too another thing I wanted to uh, touch on real quick too. Also, uh, Superman and Lois. They showed little a little thing from the season two they're filming. Mm-hmm. Have you seen Superman and Lois? No, I'm that is a of I that is a really good show. I keep hearing about it. Yes, it's I a do. really good. I, I just keep trying to like uh, really good. Really, yeah. I'm in. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. Really good. Oh, I mean, it's already over. It's already yeah, yeah, over. Yeah. But man, Superman and Lois. I think it's I back on HBO I'll, Max. So that, that I think. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on HBO Max now. But on the CW, mm. if you haven't checked out that show, you should check it out. I'm loving it. Like I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, Do you watch Star Girl at all? No, no, no. I've no. seen. I've, well, I've, it doesn't interest me. Season, I don't know why. Well, I, I mean, the first it. one was actually pretty good, but the second season they're, yeah. they're bringing back the, uh, the all the uh, the original Justice, mm. uh, just just a team of America, Justice League, yeah, yeah, Justice, League, Justice yeah. Society, yeah, or just, yeah, yeah. No, this I haven't seen Star Girl, but they showed a little bit of that. The Flash, you know, the uh, season, yeah, 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 yeah. The, his the, new the yellow uniform. boots, all that stuff. Did you see that he has a? Uh, it's a Nike's doing. Yeah, 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 I saw that. I, I saw the yeah. hat, the, the Cam Newton hat. Yeah. It's like, it's like, all right, stop. He's done. But yeah, but the Superman and Lois, that Superman, uh, Tyler Hoechlin. Yeah, man, when he, <laughs> it's funny. It's like when he has his glasses off. Like I'm like, put your glasses back on because when he has his glasses on, he looks different. And I think he makes a really excellent, like he makes a great Clark Kent. He's an ex. I never thought I would say that. He's he is a excellent. Excellent Clark Kent. Ugh. See, why is it hard to say it? Clark Kent. He's an excellent one. Superman, he's good too. He's really good, but I'm loving his Clark Kent. You got It's a really good family show. Really yeah, good yeah, family yeah. show. Um, oh, yeah. So let's also go into things that we didn't maybe didn't like about fandom. Is there anything that before we continue on? Not, not that Those I are things see. that you didn't like about fandom. No, the I, length, I, I, whatever. I mean, that didn't really um, pay no mind. Even if it was like, I just the only thing that kind of like uh, uh, that that uh, put me uh, that made me like you yeah. know really think of it was um, 
when they were just speaking like you know like talking to us like if we were kids or something like that it was just it was just weird it was just like well I mean you know adults are watching this too it's just like yeah well you know what was weird he's like look <laughs> this, at this place yeah this it's was, nice over here isn't it look yeah. at this place it's awesome <laughs> like I'm just like okay. you know what was weird <laughs> you know what I thought it was weird there was one in, when when they showed the inju- they showed one of the scenes I think it was Injustice or something they're like all right guys this this isn't for kids any kids watching warning the little kids that are watching right this isn't for them do you remember did you see that part where they're yeah, like yeah, yeah. this isn't for them so if you yeah. want them to go away but and then i watched it and i was like it's nothing i let my kids watch i was like it's ah whatever but then before that when they showed the jonathan kent like making out with another dude like that's okay it's like oh boom when jim lee came out you know because you know remember oh yeah, yeah yeah superman son's bisexual yeah, yeah, yeah. like sexuality and like oh look he's bisexual and uh, that's okay. Oh no, no, the kid, little kids. Well, no, oh, you can see that. Well, I mean, I still, that's, that's I still fine. think, and, yeah, but, but this one, oh, no, no, I could understand. Their eyes, I could understand you know? how they're talking about. I mean, with injustice because injustice I didn't is see a complete. It. I saw nothing. Yeah, but I it, saw, well, yeah. I mean, it's a complete opposite because yeah. they probably want to go see it. But it's, it's a complete so, opposite yeah. of their superheroes. Yeah, it's so weird though, is because the things that I let my kids see are like when it comes, it's weird. Of course, I don't let them see Texas Chainsaw Massacre, vi- bloody violence. No, but, but I don't like see, some di- violence, I, I don't see I don't a difference really... of like injustice. That's what, like versus evil Texas Superman. Chainsaw like, no, te- yeah. Turning like who, what's worse than fucking Superman? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I, no, like, I'm talking about evil face. Superman. You've seen bright burn. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bright, yeah, that's just basically what it is. It's but like, what they showed, I, I didn't see, it was a cartoon. I didn't see like, he, anything, he rips like, out, you know, a Joker's, Joker's heart. I don't think they like show like it wasn't gory or nothing like and and then too the, the what they showed I don't know if they even remember if they showed that I just remember they say don't and then, kids or, and then uh, I didn't see nothing was, I didn't think they were gonna show it too. but like uh, you know because he was all drugged up from the I guess scarecrows uh, uh, poison uh-huh. and he he saw Doomsday oh yeah and he was hey, you know what that wasn't even sh- violent he was being the okay. shit out of Doomsday but then it ends up being his lowest. lowest but you know what's weird is when they okay this is again a little small complaint small it's not I'm not like oh they should have showed her bloody or face pushed I, I mean I, I, but I, honestly I if you're up, yeah. Superman and yeah, you're yeah, and beating she's normal up, and there's no and blood you're, you're telling me you're yeah and then yeah. there's like and then she was still alive because her heart was beating yeah. so again it's not that violent but they were like oh, showed your uh, but again violence is a part of nature good guys versus bad guys there's other things that I would say yeah. that I wouldn't want my family to see that aren't nature. But yeah, but I was natural. actually but I thought like, that was kind of weird. Yeah. I thought it was kind of like, oh, this this is okay, Carrie, but I hey, mean, kids, yeah. look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, but this, oh, I don't know. And also, another complaint, uh, they did do the kind of a woke stuff. Some people were talking about how, like, they did do a lot of woke, like, we're going to do this. I did see a lot oh, of that. Fandom, a lot of woke, yeah, on fandom, you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Also, yeah. the truth, uh, truth, justice, and American way, they changed it. They canceled that. So now it's what is it? Truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. They canceled that, you know, because you know you can't you can't like America or colonizers supposedly whatever. So I did a little woke stuff. Oh, we're gonna do a lot of diverse, lot of diversity, big diversity, big on diversity. Like they did to the sprinkle of the woke stuff, which again, which is expected. Uh, also, too, some people were complaining about like that the stuff we got, like the big big news, like. It wasn't a lot. Like, actually, that was good. That was segue because that's a little complaint. There was some stuff I was like, "Come on, that's it. That's all you're showing." So that I had that little complaint. She was like, "That's it. That's a good segue. Let's go into uh, the Flash." I think what other than the Batman, I think that's the second what most people tuned in to the Batman movie for. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Maybe Flash, we wanted to see something, right? Was it was it me or like uh, when Ezra Miller was like? Um, oh yeah! Oh, that's that's okay for kids a choker and like I like no, I mean, like you know what? No, I, like, I didn't mind what he was wearing, but the choker I didn't see a point. I just thought it was like, but but re- but, really but wasn't it kind of weird? How's you? I mean, it was. I don't know if it was just me, but was it kind of weird? How was you? He was responding. Yeah, like the what? way he was just talking. In I general. heard he's a weird. guy. That's not me. No, I'm he was saying, just like heard, saying like you know. I was listening to some other people and they were like talking about the fandom. They're like Ezra Miller's a weird guy. He's a really, and I I guess they're in Hollywood, so they know like actors, and they're like, oh, he's a really weird guy. But I don't know what they mean by that. Like, yeah, but he was, he just wasn't didn't seem like all again, there yeah. when he was like doing it. But then didn't he say he was like we couldn't we're not going to give you like a trailer? They said they didn't, but it was like enough. a tease. Yeah, uh, they said we, yeah. didn't, we haven't been shooting enough. So that, I, and then I, we saw Supergirl in the background too, and then two flashes were in there. Yeah, so. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't call that a trailer though because that was like well, it's yeah, a teaser. Yeah, a teaser. But he trailer, didn't even say that teaser, either. Yeah. It was just like uh, well, they said they couldn't give us a full trailer. Yeah, they've been shooting for like months. And uh, remember the Batman mm-hmm. when when DC fandom last year like I was shocked when like everyone was shocked because they had literally been shooting 
weeks, not even a month. Remember? And we're like, and everyone was saying, like, they got that much footage out of that. And they still showed us, like, a, a two-minute something trailer from the Batman. And they were literally not even a month. Yeah. The Flash has been shooting more than a month. Way more. Remember when the Keaton photos? They're probably doing a lot more things, so that's, man. that's why I'm like, I call They're BS. They're doing a lot more CG BS, stuff. Yeah. How long has we seen the Supergirl uh, set photos? How long we see Keaton set? That was months, yeah. right? The Batman did it a few weeks, and they gave us a, a, a like almost a full trailer. So anyway, but but let's talk about the actual movie, man. The shot where you see um, the Batman mask on the floor, because yeah. the the scene starts off with you see the the gothic Tim Burton esque mansion. Of yeah, Wayne and then Manor. you see uh, Michael Keaton. You hear speaking. the music. Yeah, yeah, you hear Michael Keaton speaking. Yeah, you. You hear the music, and Michael Keane's like, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a guy, it's a bat, it's a bat. And he's like, it's a bat. And he's going, he's talking about the movie, and then you see Flash, you see the, the Keaton cow on the floor, it's like bloody. What is that? Like, I don't, like, Keaton cow, they, dead? They, they, did they, he die? They, 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 you could change, I don't know. Well, they were saying that that was Ben Affleck's mask. And, and I, it wasn't, I, I know it definitely wasn't Keaton's mask. It looked, it looked I, I more it like a, a oh. Affleck's mask, but, uh, uh but people were uh, speculating that it wasn't. Yeah. No Ben Affleck, though, in yeah. the trailer. And, I mean, I wasn't expecting to see. I was shocked to see a, uh, a Batman figure yeah. <laughs> in there. But No, uh, I was actually. I No, I expected that. I, I was like, you got to give us. You show I Michael thought they were going to show us a Batmobile, but no, they still didn't yeah, do that, that either. I, I don't know why they did that. <laughs> yeah, like, why? Like, you know, we know it's there. Just show yeah. it. Like, don't. Like, we know. Like, what's the point of, like, yeah. we're going to show you, but not really. It's like, what? Like, I don't. How he has that yellow like trim, and it's also I like that uh, from suit. from That's, Injustice, yeah. you know, in the, the games. He's like he, he looks. I prefer like that, that too. suit better. I prefer yeah. that suit better. But then the Keaton, like where you see the back of him yeah. and the cow, that was like yeah. so you knew exactly like, who that was. Yeah, yeah. And then of course the Batmobile. Yeah. I was like, oh come on, they're just teasing. us. And then and uh, like you got that. you got two Barry Allens. Yeah, and then you got a Supergirl yeah, on the Supergirl. side. Like, that was uh, that was strange. Good scene. Yeah, yeah. You saw that. Wonder so. what was going on there. Yeah, we know Affleck's going to be there. So, like, I can't wait to see a full trailer. Like, yeah. give us the full trailer. That's why I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought we were going to see the actual full trailer, and we didn't. We didn't. I was a little What's, disappointed. Uh, the, the, how do you pronounce the, the director's last name? A- Andrew Muschietti. 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 Okay. Yeah, he, yeah, now, it, I think he did it. Barbara uh, Muschietti, I dare she's say that's producer. a producer. Yeah, okay. she's a producer on this as well. Just coincidence that they uh-huh. have, like, the same last name? No, no, no. She... She's actually a producer. That, that's his wife. But okay, actually, that's what I figured. Yeah, Barbara, yeah. yeah. But she was saying this quote. She was saying that uh, that Keaton uh, had a had not been you know Batman for thirty years. It was amazing to see uh, them uh, both of them. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, her, her and Ben Affleck or something like that, and Michael Keaton got quite. Emo- they said they got quite emotional coming back. Um, once they were uh, uh, with us, uh, uh, they got to put. On the, uh, they also got to put on the cow, yeah, which I thought I that was that. awesome yeah, as well. Yeah, they both um, put on the cow. They were with each other. Yeah, yeah, and I just uh, it kind of just kind of got me like a little goosebumps a little bit because I mean mm-hmm. I just feel like uh, I mean I just you know having two Batmans in there is just crazy. I um, wish we would have saw at least a Batmobile or something. Also, at least yeah. Side, also, yeah. this has you know kind of nothing to do with it, but um, the director from Bad Boys is doing Batgirl. Yeah, he 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 sent Batman's a picture like on Twitter or something. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a yeah. fact he's going to be in it. They just don't know which one. Yeah, yeah. but uh, well, there there was a picture he he had took of himself uh-huh. facing Ben Affleck's um, mask because uh-huh. he said it's going to be uh, you know uh, the the Batman. Yeah, but he didn't say which one or whatever or Patterson's or well, whatever. It has to be because like they said yeah. Jim, uh, the yeah J K Simmons. Yeah, yeah, he's but, but, going to be there in, two, in there too. It has to be Ben, but but why why did he say he doesn't know which one? It's not going to be Patterson. It's not going to be. Ro- it's not going to be. Well, he didn't Robert say Patterson. which one. He's, he. I forgot well, how the way he, he said that? it. He said why he, would he like, say that if we know. Okay. Uh, he's like it's going to be the one. Bat, like he's going to be. It's going to be the main Batman or some shit like that. Like he said. He said like something some, about. But I'm not going to say which one. I don't know. I just thought it was yeah. weird the way. Uh, but okay. So yeah, the Flash man. I'm, I'm you, excited to see the movie. Do you think it's wait. because they're just trying to see how the reaction would be? No, I don't think so. No. I don't think they, they think can they be reactionary. Have a plan? That's too yeah, it's too far along. Yeah. Um they can't be reactionary. But I thought the, the <laughs> teaser trailer was good. I just thought I wanted more. I wanted more. Well, yeah, I wanted, I wanted more to too, but more. I was like I got I got enough from that. I mean I I still know it's gonna be a long time for me to actually watch the movie. Yeah. But uh I, I'm just glad I mean I'm for of you know, I don't know, finally we have a damn fucking flash movie. You know, that's all I gotta say. And yeah. Um the Arkham Knights, they showed a little bit more of that, of the another video game. Yeah. Um, the Court of the Owls, uh, that, that storyline was very, really good in the New 52. Yeah. It's one of the ones uh, Batman keeps 
uh, keeps continuing to to add to the the mythology of the Batman lore. You know, you had the Harley Quinn, you had you know Bane, who has been one of the top villains, focal points in pop culture. He came out in the '90s. You had, of course, Harley Quinn from the animated series coming through. Um, you most recently you had um, uh, Batman, the Robin, Batman's son, come in. So Damian Wayne has been like a focal point, like cemented in Damian Wayne and the other ones. And then now um, I think you have the Court of the Owls going. A lot of people like that. Uh, Court of the Owls is starting to get into lore, uh, animated movies, um, comic books, and, and more comic books, and now video games. And So now they're making a jump. So I, I don't know. I think the game looks good. What, what do you think about the, the Arkham Knights? Oh, yeah. No, Gotham Knights, it looks phenomenal. Uh, I can't wait to be able to like you know play it. And uh, try bo- uh, all four of the characters. Yeah, I believe, yeah. So, um, yeah, and it looks and the, the court of house. I mean, you can't go anything wrong with that. That looks epic as hell. Um, and I'm more excited because we haven't played those games in a long time. You yeah. know, the, the Rocksteady. Um, so I'm just I'm glad that uh, I love you know, those games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't have any doubts that that game's gonna it's, it's gonna yeah. be great. Yeah. Shazam, the sizzle reel, man. We got a lot of behind the scenes. Shazam I didn't see the, and I didn't Aquaman. Get, I didn't see that one. You didn't see oh, mm-hmm. Shazam and Shazam and Aquaman really surprised me. Like I'm more excited. Shazam, um, Helen Mirren. You have Lucy uh, from Charlie's Angels. Uh, man, Lucy Liu. Lucy Liu. Yeah, they're gonna play uh, like Greek people that come in Greek the, from the mythology, and and you see the whole uh, the whole uh, Marvel family. Uh, Shazam. They got a new suit. New suit. It looks good. Like, man, the sizzle reels behind the scene. They just showed no trailer, but just sizzle reels behind the action scene. It looks really good. Like, it looks, they're, they're going, they showed a lot of um, art to the production art. They're going to get real myth, uh, Greek mythology. They're going to bring these different creatures in, monsters. They're going to, I guess, Olympus or some type of Greek. They showed a lot, a lot of uh, photos and stuff, like drawings and, and production, stuff like that. It looks really good. I think this is going to be better than the first one. Like I'm called, I'm calling it right now. Um, Aquaman two and Shazam: Fear of the Gods are going to be better than the uh, previous movies. I honestly believe that. It looks really good. It looks super super good. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see that. Um, also, Injustice, we got a little piece of that too. Also, uh, the movie. I think it would. Didn't it just come out this week or something like that? Like it just the 18th. I, yeah, I think it just dropped today. I think I believe. I, if I'm not the actual mistaken, trailer, no, the actual movie, like it came out today, I believe. Did it? I didn't uh, know yeah, that. I think the 18th, I believe so. But yeah, man. So what about the? I know we talked about it a little bit, but the injustice, like seeing it actually on on uh, on screen from the game. Yeah, it's it's great, uh, beautiful uh, story. Um, well, I wouldn't say exactly beautiful. It's, it was more of like a crazy. Um, it, it's kind of. I mean, when I was first uh, was able to play that game and and realize how you know the name injustice was so uh uh <laughs> pretty much clear on what it's talking about like uh it was just a whole like uh w- w- what would you say what earth it was i mean isn't it another earth i mean it's not like it's not earth one like you know how we know all the whole justice league is all good and stuff like that you know this was like an it's another world it's just basically like if uh if you know superman went you know crazy without Lois Lane, you know, and, and, and finally, you know, the, 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 uh, but Batman, what is punches, it? The, yeah. Uh, the Joker, uh, yeah. Prince of, uh, what is it? Prince of crime. Clown Prince of crime. Yeah. yeah. Would, uh, uh, yeah. Manipulate him. But the, the scene where Batman like punches Superman, like, why would he, you know, you're not going to punch him. Like he breaks yeah. his hand. Like, like, it's like, come on. Why, why would you do that? Like, you know, you're going to get like, you're, you can't punch Superman. Also, yeah. to um, the Cape Crusade, the Cape Crusader, the new film. Did you see anything on that? On did they the show new... a trailer? No, they didn't show a trailer, but they talked about it. No, like no, uh, no. Bruce Tim, yeah. the original one from the 1990s animated series, mm-hmm. and um, what uh, Matt Reeves is also like a producing, and that Matt Reeves, the one from you know the Batman, Robert Pattinson, and also J.J. Abrams. So those are some. Have you have J again? Once again, say it repeated. J.J. Abrams. Matt Reeves and Bruce Tim, like that is a am- if you- <laughs> that's so amazing. And the Cru- Cape Crusader, they showed a lot of art. They showed little scenes or whatever. But Bruce Tim was saying that this version that he's doing, remember he's again he's the one that created the original our childhood. He's the one that did the Batman the animated Emmy Emmy nominated series, Batman award winning series, um, Batman the animated series in the nineties. 
he said that Bruce Tim said that this version, the Cape Crusader, is something like doing things that he wanted to do in the nineties, but he couldn't because it was like a more of a children's, which is not real. I mean, there's a lot of dark like they pushed the boundary of children's stuff, that very mature stuff. Adults could enjoy that. You could watch it now and as an adult enjoy it. But Bruce Tim said there was things that he wanted to push that they wouldn't let him do. Obviously, it would be on like what is it, Fox Kids or remember the channels, the kids. So they couldn't push it. But the, uh, Bruce Tim was talking about this new series. Is this going to be him unleashed? What do you think about his comments saying about this is going to be him doing what he couldn't do back then with J.J. Abrams and Matt Reeves? What do you think about that? Um, the only the only doubt that I probably have is this: I just I'm, I'm not too uh, too crazy about the uh, the appearance of the animated Batman because it's the very old school one, which is yeah. I guess it's cool. I get it, but I mean it's just it's something that uh, I was really technically not aware when I was a kid. So it's it's definitely would be new. But I mean, I'd be a stupid doubt that that uh, that series that's, that that would be coming up, uh, uh, you know, be be bad at all. Because uh, no, it, I don't I don't think so at all. Yeah. All right, man. So let's let's get into the what 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 we waited four hours for at DC Fan Mail, man. What we did. Uh, why don't we watch the trailer and then talk about it? I like how they're not showing his face yet. Yeah, like he's more of like a crazy person. He's very creepy, like serial killer. And they're they're hiding Paul Dano too. He hasn't come out. You haven't seen him. Fear is a tool. But when that light hits the sky, his eyes like. Were you were, uh, were you shocked to see? Uh, uh, Robert Patterson a lot more in this one. Yeah, a lot of brutal fight scenes. He's like electric. Yeah. See, they're not showing. I like how they're not showing him. Trying to reach you. You know why? Because I bet you he has a a big ass uh, question mark on his forehead. No, for real. That's what they're trying to go by with this new Riddler. She looks amazing. This continues. Zoe Kravitz looks yeah, yeah. amazing. I don't care what happens to me. It's only gonna get worse for you. Patterson's eyes, like in the suit, he's the most like animated yeah. I've ever seen. Whoa, take it easy, sweetheart. <laughs> like, that's it. like take it easy. Everything they say, ain't you? Penguin looks amazing. I mean, he, oh, I can't wait for Penguin. Maybe we're not so different. Beautiful shots, man. Who are you under there? The shots are just beautiful. Look at that. I'm vengeance. Great voice. Every scene just looks like a comic book splash. Getting Dark Knight, uh, Dark Knight vibes. Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight. Barrel, man, he's, he's like, if I if I didn't if no one told me that who he's gonna be, I wouldn't have like never guessed or known. You know what I mean? Look at that scene right there. Maybe look like, at the upside poster. down scene yeah, too. Look at that. Oh yeah. my god. That scene. Oh my goodness, March. Tw- I, oh. I know when they said that too. It's just like, oh my god, you guys are fucking dumb. Why is it so long? God damn it, COVID. And, and it's <clears throat> like if you. Colin Farrell, like there, there's a reason why they're doing the what is it the uh, HBO Max series, yeah. you know, like a spinoff, like with with uh, with uh, the Penguin. They're like in talks and doing that stuff like yeah, cause that. Yeah, because I heard he only has like ten minutes. Yeah, I heard that he's yeah. not. In, he's like in two three scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he steals this. Like uh, just imagine. Like I, there's a reason why they're 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 talking about doing this spinoff show because he man he's just he eats up the screen time. Uh, Colin Farrell, like I mean, just like take it easy, sweetheart. Like he's like, oh, I got you, oh, I got you. It's like very yeah. Robert De Niro ish, yeah. right? He's like, I got you, you, you. I know you. Like man, I, I don't know. I, I have a feeling. 
again uh, when, when Peacemaker, he, I, I thought he stole the show and 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 the Suicide Squad, and there's and then they did a whole show with him. I guarantee you, uh, Colin Farrell, he's a he's an amazing actor, amazing actor. Um, I bet he stole like so much screen time that they're like, man, let's just make this, let's just make a series with, with the Penguin, Colin Farrell. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zoe Kravitz looks amazing. The shots mm-hmm. that she's in, she has a wig, short hair, long hair. She looks amazing. Uh, Robert Patterson, like the mask, like I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't know if it's the mask or if it's something looks different. It's, it's, well, yeah, because you could see his. It feels like I could see his no, face well, more it, and his emotion. Yeah, because like, I mean, if you ever notice, like every Batman um, mask, it always has. It always has the jawline covered almost. Yeah. Uh, this one does. Yeah, it's it. more open. This one's yeah. the classic, like Adam West. Yeah. Like it's also from the top forehead. Like it's also based on the Adam West like old school one, yeah. and, and it's uh I think the ears are more like farther back, yeah. but it's like they're more straight. Yeah. Um, I but mean, his I've looked, eyes like it's something like I, I, will, I see Robert Patterson yeah. in there. I'm I like, will That's say Robert Patterson. I will say that I didn't like it seeing it at mm-hmm. first, like the very yeah, like, yeah. year ago. Yeah, but yeah. it's definitely growing on me like a lot. I mean, the suit is. And he seems very fucking armored up, just being shot like normal yeah, times like, and stuff like that. He, he, with the automatic rifle, yeah, they're yeah. shooting. Like, yeah, just shooting that. He's just walking like fucking Jason or something it. like that. Yeah, it's like, because, I'm sure it is. Like, I'm sure they will. Because even if you get have a bulletproof and, and vest think, and you get shot point blank, yeah. you're falling back. And this, so it better this be some movie, tough armor. Yeah, it's going to be three hours long and it's going to be straight up detective. And I don't see him. Uh, well, I hope so. I don't see him. Uh, I don't see. I think that's just another, another suit that he has. I mean. Would oh, you, you don't think this is the? You think would you be disappointed suit? if they didn't bring another suit in? No, no, no. I actually like this suit. It's grown. Well, I, like, I think, I like uh, but I think in a while back that they did mention that, like, yeah, uh, even know, Matt I, Reeves I was that. saying, like, that, that's like not that. even like his actual no, but, suit. But I think because there was one where he's riding on the motorcycle. Remember, like, yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. first. Uh, to me, that one looked different than his armor one. Could be, yeah. So yeah. I think that is. I think we already seen. Yeah, and then I mean, there's already so many crazy theories. I think it's kind of true too because if I saw it again, because I again, I follow social media. and and you know they already have like some parts that they just keep having yeah, repeats. Yeah, and uh, you know that one part where he's pounding the shit out of somebody. He's sending it was cows kind of, in the back. Yeah, yeah and it kind of reminded back. me of uh, you know Ben Affleck's. Yeah, when he was hitting like in a uh, Batman vs Superman. Yeah, um, I, I like you know because they had they have to bounce back on his fight scenes like from from Christian Bale. They gotta step up. You know, yeah. yeah, and um, but I do. Uh, uh, it does. Are you familiar with Hush? The 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 cartoon, the comic, the animated, or the cartoon? no, the animated. Yeah, I know what? they changed it. Yeah, yeah the animated. Um, one. It's, yeah, I own that one. It's yeah. basically like that. But have you seen it? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. You so you you it's a Riddler. Yeah. Um, a, yeah, uh, but it it was just like at the ending, uh-huh. um, just like at the ending, how the 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 Riddler dies on there. I don't think he's gonna die. I well, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Well. Well, There's I think a lot of villains uh, I think there here. was a quote too, is also as well as like say, or not a quote, but uh, somebody had said about the movie that. Uh, well, I mean, Batman doesn't kill, but I mean, he's not going to probably save somebody or something like that. Yeah. Well, this is a new. This is year two, Batman. Yeah, this but, is, but and when they said yeah, that this is. They, did you watch the whole interview, like with Robert Patterson? And did you see? The no, 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 no. I didn't get to see. You those, didn't see uh, the you, no because oh, they're talking about it too, and, and it's like yeah, he's he's unfilled, like he's rage. This is a a hurt, rageful Batman. Like yeah, this is, this is a broken Batman. Yeah, we haven't seen this since uh, Ben Affleck, and I think. Who said it? Some somebody part of the film was mentioning something about this was based off of Ben Affleck's Batman. Um, so they're use they're, they're using that as inspiration for this Batman. And then what I've heard is that he's using that rage though, yeah. you know, to, to beat you know bad people though. Yeah. I mean, he's doing it as in good, but at the same time, it's like he's there's still times where he can go too yeah. yeah to go too far. And you can see like it because he's like pounding and the glass. Even when and the, he's like, that, that clearly says, even when he says like you know in the in the trailer, he's like he doesn't care about himself. Yeah, like he's just willing to do whatever he yeah. wants, you know, willing, willing to, you know, to to take the wind, to, you know, to uh, save uh, the, the the people of Gotham or, yeah. or whatever, you know, like. But yeah, yeah it it seems very uh, uh, epic. I can't believe it's fucking March, but that's whatever, not even, man. If you think about that, that's not even too far. Yeah, like, I know. Think if about we just that, as a January, yeah, February, just, or March, like what's that? Th- that's like less than six months. Yeah, away. I know. But they've just been cock teasing us for this longest time yeah. for this damn movie. But uh, yeah, and. Uh, we're gonna have a hell of a fucking year, and uh, that's that's for sure. Um, but so. the, the the thing about Robert Pattinson is like when people are like, oh, like oh, like Robert Pattinson, like oh, the guy from Twilight, like he's and he's like, no, this is Robert Pattinson. Uh, after the Twilight series, he went away for a little bit, started doing small independent roles, yeah, small indie. Like, there was uh, this good, there was uh, this, good time, yeah, uh, high life. 
the lighthouse. Like he started doing his. There was this meme though that said that was like the movie that uh, no all the movies that Robert Patton was in, nobody was interested. But saying it's like it was Batman, they just went and well, yeah. But and the crazy, directors right? have been uh, they've been lining up to work with, with Robert Patterson. They've yeah. been lining up because well, he's I'm glad been they like have a, like a young a Batman, independent you know? dar- Yeah, he's younger, and again his. His emo- like this is the most emotional. This is not emotional, but the most uh, expressive Batman that I've seen. You go back to the Michael Keaton Batman again. Michael Keaton was a really good Batman. I didn't like yeah. his Bruce Wayne. I, I always said like he's. I, I didn't care for his Bruce Wayne, but his Batman was. Come amazing. on, you want to go nuts? Yeah, I, Let's I, I go didn't like nuts. his curly hair, short, not even muscular anyway. But but his 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 Batman was really good. Like his facial expressions. Yeah, and then you had of course Christian Bale stepped it up. Uh, ben Affleck too, but. I think out of of all of them, just in this trailer, he's shown more emotion, like his teeth gritting, uh, rage, his eyes. Like it's like you, he's more expressive. It's like I can see his face as where the other Batman's. You you see their jaws, of course, and mouth, but like it's, but it's not. I know the jaws open, but like even their eyes. Like I don't know what they're doing. It feels like they're more open. Like you can, I can see his acting through the cow. Where I think in the other Batman's, I didn't. I didn't get that much facial expression and acting through the cow, whereas Robert Patterson is like he's just bursting out of it, and I think it's going to be great. Well, I'm, you got you got to think him. about it like this, though. It's like I mean, Robert Patterson. I mean, you kind of have to verse Robert Patterson and Christian Bale, yeah, because they're making you know single Batman movies, you know, by themselves or something like that. Versus, like, I think Patterson will, will would change his character a little bit if he was Batman, if he was working with Superman and, like, Wonder Woman or anything like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't have been, like, the Batman we see now. Like, I, I think that's fair to say, like, if it's... I see more of, like, a re- resemblance of a uh, Christian, because it's just serious, you know what I mean? Like, I yeah. mean, not, like, you know, exactly the same or whatever, but it's just, like... Uh, like, you know it's going to be a, a good uh, detective and movie, and I wouldn't be surprised if there is any type of award... Yeah. Coming for oh, oh, yeah. or, or going towards I, you know Patterson side. I wouldn't be surprised if like if this movie gets maybe Oscar buzz, uh, either nomination or I mean the Joker. Because people, people have been comparing this because and again I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Some people are like, oh, what if? Of, is it possible? Of course. But to put Joaquin Phoenix's Joker in with Robert Patterson, like the world's fit though, right? Like the world, like the tone of yeah. the movie, yeah. The tone of the Joker. Mm. It's like very gritty. It's yeah. very real. It's very dark. It's very. But like, then you would have to go ominous. by that storyline, right? Yeah, but I could see the Joker. Like when you saw when we saw the Joker trailer. Remember the first Joker trailer? Like that movie. It fits in this world of of the Matt Reeves Batman. It fits so perfectly. Again, I don't think they're gonna do it. I don't think they're gonna do it. But it fits. So perfectly, and Joker got nominated for Best Picture Oscar. Joaquin got nominated uh, Best Actor and won. So I can see that there's a, a shot at the Batman getting nominated for Best Picture and maybe even an award for Robert Patterson. Hell, maybe, I mean, I've, I've, I haven't seen the whole movie, but it should. Maybe even a supporting actor for uh, Colin Farrell. I don't know. Like, again, th- those, are, those are stretches, of course. Those are stretches. Uh, but to me, it's like, Michael Keaton Batman was like a a great representation of an action hero. Uh, you had the Christian Bale Batman was a great uh, rep- rep- uh, representation of like the the tech kind of the modern two thousand Batman. You had Ben Affleck was a good you know uh, Batman fighting with the Justice League. Yeah, you know, that's, doing adventures yeah, they got to see that those are different Bat- gods are Batman. And, yeah. yeah, aliens and gods yeah. and and then Robert Patterson. I feel like is the best representation of the detective the detective batman you see him going and get all this stuff spread out trying to figure out the riddler's crime going you know going pummeling villains and chasing down bad guys that's what i feel like his is more of the comic book detective let me ask you something like uh i mean i don't have any doubts with the with the batman um say you know uh the flash does good yeah you know including ben affleck's role and everything like that is it? Do you can you can you say or can you see two possible just two Batman's in t- different movies? Like for instance, like just hypothetically saying like, oh well, Ben Affleck, you know they still want him to be Batman. Do you just like make a series on HBO and have him do his own thing? If he was trying to do the whole time while having Robert Patterson's theater time and uh, you know doing whatever franchise he plans on doing. 
Yeah. Do you see that happening I, at I, the I, same time? I yeah, mean, at least I do. like, I, is that the, possible? Yes. Like, I mean, there was a time when <clears throat> that was a time when there was like an unwritten rule in the Warner Brothers. Was like, because we're getting a lot of Batman. Batman dude. I mean, we were. You s- only have one Superman, but now we yeah. see it. We live in a world where there's a Superman on on television. There's a Superman in the movies. There's a Batman. There's two Batmans in one movie. There's a there's yeah. three Batmans. I definitely could see that happening. I definitely. Because I mean, remember, dude, back in that. the day, it, it, it took years, yeah, for just to see a bat, a new Batman movie, yeah, from Batman Forever to like you know to Batman and Robin, yeah. to then Batman and Robin to like Christian Bale, like, yeah. Now we're just getting them galore. It's it's crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I could definitely see them uh, all existing uh, at the same time. I don't, I don't think that would be. But again, oh, and, and, and then also especially too, Michael Keaton, add yeah. him in there too. Shit, how, how long is he? I mean, I'm yeah. sure they're going to plan flip on it into a Batman Beyond. He's yeah, the right age, right. He's like seventy years old. Do a Batman Beyond series or yeah. movie. But I would love, like what you said, I would love, I would absolutely like love a Ben Affleck written, Ben Affleck directed, and Ben Affleck starred Batman series on HBO Max. Yeah, I would love obviously a movie too, of course, a movie too, of course. But I would love bring that a series yeah. of that. I would love. They should do that. They should do a <clears throat> like a eight episode series. Eight, give me give me eight hours of uh, Ben Affleck written and directed, starred in Batman movie. Yeah, and I think it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, I don't know how likely, but I mean, now that was DC fandom. Any closing thoughts you had on the the whole fandom and stuff? Uh, no, man. I mean, I'm just, the only thing I'm just going to let my frustration out because it's still early and, you know, I'm going to, can't wait for these movies to come out and then I can actually say, hey, uh, yeah. I, I lived to see The Flash. Uh, All right, man. <laughs> there you go. Again, uh, thank you guys for been downloading us. We really appreciate you from all over the country and outside the United States. Uh, thank you much. Appreciate it. Many, many more episodes. I am Roger. Peace. <laughs>